right now is, is the best. Yeah. Right now in the midfield position is the best. Uh, just your first reaction to the performance your team put in against the champions tonight. Yeah, so the light. Congratulations against uh, the team. Beat uh, the champion, the quality that they have, the way they incredible focus. I saw them in the guard of honor, like uh, how they they were focused to to play, how they shout and they help each other to try to beat us. Uh, that's why they are champions, because when you are champions in this way, is because it's not uh, important, more important than the other ones. And that's why to beat them in 4-0, the chances we create, we have done the way we defend. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, three more points. Uh, to help us to finish second in the Premier League and 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 qualify for the Champions League, we need four points to do this mathematically, and um, and it's good for us to the game against Arsenal FA Cup semi-finals and special, but especially in, in Real Madrid second leg. I think everyone can understand your motivation of wanting to beat the champions, but how do you maintain the motivation for the rest of the the season, the six games remaining? Because we have Arsenal there. Everyone's want to play in Madrid, and it helps us, uh, you know, these kind of games to to play to try to do it. So, and the most important thing, maybe you didn't realize, it, I'm going to tell you, when a team win eight titles for the last ten competitions uh, they play, is because they are incredible, incredible team like we are. So it's not necessary to tell today uh, because we want uh, Liverpool. So with the results that Liverpool has done, nobody can stop it here in in any other country. But what we have done these last years uh, is something unique and exceptional. And it's not going to change because we win Liverpool or we will lose against Liverpool. OK, we go to Ben Ransom. Ben? Hi, Pep. Um, how much does that performance tell you about what your players can achieve next season and how hungry they are to take this title back? I, I, I repeat, Ben, when one team win eight or ten, the ten to ten titles he played, the plate, not necessarily one game against Liverpool to show me they are hungry. Next season will be next season. And we make a mistake this season to don't be contenders. We are not consistent. But it's important for all of us, really, really important for all of us, uh, for the game against Arsenal and for Madrid game. Next season, it's honestly far away. So, but uh, it looks like for me a little bit uh, not nice or ridiculous to to prize my team what they have done in the last years. So, and this is this is unique. And uh, next up, Jack Gorn. Hi, Pat. Hi. Um, just a uh, very simple one: Is Kevin De Bruyne the best midfielder in world football now? He's a really good player. Really, really good player. This guy. He has something unique. I mean, when he can run and he can, you know, the vision that he has, the personality right now, making a penalty takers, you know, it's a three or four in a row. He is scoring when he, we struggle a lot this season with the penalties. So right now is is the best. Yeah, right now in the midfield position is the best. Can he get better? Of course. How? He knows it. Okay, Simon Stone. Hiya, hiya Pep. Um, a lot of people have had a lot to say about the way you've handled Phil Foden over the last couple of years, but it seems now we're seeing the kind of player that you, are, you have been trying to develop. How much can he give you over the next few years? Uh, what we have done with him is try to protect him about all of you, uh, don't let him play uh, every single game. How many young players come and after, um, in, in this period, you have to be careful in the, in the first steps because um, being the players that have been ahead in front with David, with Kevin, with, uh, with Bernardo, with a lot of players, always there at a time. But he has an incredible thing that don't make me doubt will be incredible players in the next 10 decades. It was not one single day since we met each other, trained with each other. He put a bad face. He make a bad behavior because play, you don't play, 
what do in the training sessions every action is positive in every single action is look forward next one don't regret in his huge competitor is a guy who scored incredible goals is so fast defensively so strong and uh, is a reality he played in Old Trafford he played today here and against incredible top teams and he was there and always playing a high level so but everything needs his process in his period the important is he he trusts with us and he want to stay here if he want to play with us he's Manchester City fan and uh, we know how we take care of the academy look at Garcia too he played against Salah against Firmino Mane a guy with 18, 90 years old, he had an incredible kick against Arsenal. He trained in just three, four days after 10 days out and play awesome. He doesn't make mistakes. Every time play with us, he doesn't make any mistakes. He's always focused. He guides the line. He knows exactly what he has to do. His decision maker is always in the right. And that's why it's for us, I'm so, we are so proud as a club to have a Phil, Eric for the academy. Like uh, we can count on them without a doubt. We can count on them without a doubt. Because we know exactly the difference is the mentality, how they train, how they listen, how they want to improve, how they want to become football players. And when that's happened, it's the best gift or the best present that we can get as a, as a club, myself as a manager. So both play incredible and both, I think, are a reality, a reality for our club in the next years. Okay, next we go to Uga Meleke. Hi, Pep. Uh... I wonder, uh, do you think you will miss Sergio Aguero and Leroy Sané throughout the Champions League uh, this season? Well, Leroy is gone. Uh, he I saw pictures with already the T-shirt for Bayern Munich. So uh, I think you're going to announce tonight or tomorrow. And unfortunately, Sergio is injured. And hopefully Sergio could be here. But uh, we will wait him. I don't know. We'll be ready for the Champions League. The first, the second leg against Madrid, for sure, is impossible. But we have to look forward. We're going to wait him, and with the players that we have, we're going to do it. Okay. Next, we go to James Ducker. James. Hi, Pep. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Hi, um, Pep. When you get when you have a talent like um, Phil, uh, you know, quite a rare talent. Is it is it is it an incredibly excite, exciting thing as a manager to have a player like that very early in his development, and that you can help help shape him and help watch him grow? And and is is that the sort of is that sort of thing one of the things that could potentially help? persuade you to sort of stay longer term at this club being able to oversee it obviously obviously all the manager james all the manager around the world love to work with the good players when i tell you many times so the success we had in in our career as a manager is because we're training incredible outstanding players and phil is one of them so i think all of guys i think i would love all the players in the academy even my my they are his mates look his behavior in the training sessions. The difference from Phil is the behavior. It's never one regret, never one bad face, never one complaint. It's play five minutes, I play as an animal. Play 90 minutes, 90 minutes. No play, no play. The day after doesn't play, go in the training session. And he's like a little boy who want to play and score goals and fight and do it. That's why he deserves it. I am more than satisfied for him uh, because it's an incredible reality. And of course, it's is an incredible news for us, you know, for for Manchester City. We have a player for the next years. We can count as a midfield player, as a winger, even as a striker, because he have an incredible sense of goal, incredible sense of goal in the vision. But I think, I don't want to say anything wrong, but Gareth Southgate have an incredible talent for the national team in his hands. Uh, because this, I saw many players in my life. Uh, I was training with the uh, incredible incredible players and 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 feel and feel will be will be one of them okay uh, joseph prince wright hi pep 
Um, you talked there about Phil and Eric as well. Um, did their performances tonight and through the final weeks of the season kind of shape the team for next season? And, and how much of a gap do you think you still have to get to Liverpool? Because most people will see winning 4-0 tonight seems you're pretty close to catching up with them already. The, the, the gap of Liverpool is more than 20 points. That is the difference between one team and the other one. This is 20 points. Like two seasons ago, it was 25. Now it's 20 points for them. So that, that's a reality. That result is not going to be confused. And my players need it with the reality. They were equal much better than us. We are not consistent. And we have to recover the consistent that we had the previous season. That it doesn't matter anywhere. We were to play, we take a, a result and points. So, but I'm happy today for the problem. We won a team, the champion in Europe and England. Like they were incredible focus to beat us. I saw their faces, the way they shout, the way they communicate, the way they won it. And that's why they didn't come here to, to celebrate absolutely anything. I think they celebrate it. They are going to celebrate it, but they came to celebrate it. I think they drank enough beers in the, in the early days in the week, but they came here to, to compete against us without a doubt. And that's why for us, you know, to prepare Arsenal and, and Madrid will be so important this game to take conscience that, uh, okay, we can do it. Uh, but next season will be completely different. Start everyone from zero and you have to show the first to Liverpool, but especially for ourselves, that we can do it, that we can do it. What we have done this last year, winning a lot, a lot of titles in a lot of competitions. Okay, last question for the embargo. If I could already see quest, uh, hands raised, please, for those embargo questions. Uh, but we'll take the last one before, which will be Paul Hurst. Hi, Pep. Just no, sorry to come back to Phil again, but you mentioned he could play several different positions. Do you, have you got in your mind which kind of which is his best position at the moment, or is it still something that's he's a midfield player? He's a midfield player, but in the time he's going to learn to play in a in a holding midfielder even uh, because he he has the ability to learn. But I don't wanna uh, rule it out, or I don't wanna dismiss the chance to play him or put him close to the box because he has something special. We make a, a game in the training session and and when we score five, four, five, six goals, this guy has scored all the time, two, three. You have a sense of goal, a mentality to be incredible aggressive. You know, when he takes the ball, he goes incredible aggressive against central defenders and shoot and finishing and does his and we cannot uh, lose or waste, uh, lose this, this, this incredible quality. So difficult to find that, uh, the, the quality that he has. Thank you.